beginning of prime. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Open my mouth, O Lord, to bless thy holy name. Hence also my heart from all vain, evil, and distracting thoughts. Enlighten my understanding, inflame my will, that I may worthily recite this office with attention and devotion, and deserve to be heard in the presence of thy divine majesty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, in union with that divine intention which thou dost praise God on earth, I offer thee this hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Him. Now in the sun's new dawning ray, lowly apart our God we pray, that he from harm may keep us free, and all the deeds this day shall see. May fear of him our tongues restrain, leave strife and guarded speech and stain. His favour and care our guardian be, least rise, feed and vanity. May every heart be pure from sin, and folly find no place therein, that when the light of day is gone, and night and course shall follow on. We free from cares the world affords, may chant the praise that is our Lord's. All laud to God our Father be, all praise eternal Son to thee, all glory as is ever meet to God the Holy Paraclete. Amen. Sixth weekday prime, depart not from me. Psalm 21, part 1. O God, my God, look upon me. Why hast thou forsaken me? Far from my salvation are the words of my sins. O my God, I shall cry by day, and thou wilt not hear, and by night it shall not be reputed as folly in me. But thou dwellest in the holy place, the praise of Israel. In thee have our fathers hoped, they have hoped, and thou hast delivered them. They cried to thee, and they were saved. They trusted in thee, and they were not confounded. But I am a worm and no man. Reproach of men and the outcast of the people. They that saw me have laughed me to scorn. They have spoken with the lips and wagged their head. He hoped in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him save him, seeing he delighted in him. For thou art he that has drawn me out of the womb, my hope from the breast of my mother. I was cast upon thee from the womb, from my mother's womb thou art my God. Depart not from me, for tribulation is very near, for there is none to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for ever and ever. Amen. Psalm 21, part 2. Many calves have surrounded me, fat bulls have besieged me. They have opened their mouths against me as a lion raving and roaring. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are scattered. My heart has become like wax melting in the midst of my bells. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue has cleaved to my jaws. And thou hast brought me down to the dust of death. For many dogs have encompassed me. The counsel of the malignant have besieged me. They have dug my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones, and they have looked and stared upon me. They parted my garments amongst them, and upon my vesture they cast lots. But thou, O Lord, remove not thy help from a distance from me, look towards my defence. Deliver, O God, my soul from the sword, my only one from the hand of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth and my lowness from the horns of the wild oxen. I will declare thy name to my brethren, in the midst of the church I will praise thee. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 21, part 3. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. All ye the seed of Jacob, glorify him. Let all the seed of Israel fear him, because he had not slighted nor despised the supplication of the poor. Neither hath he turned away his face from me. When I cried to him, he heard me. With thee is my praise in the great church. I will pay my vows in the sight of them that fear him. The poor shall eat and shall be filled, and they shall praise the Lord that seek him. Their hearts shall live forever and ever. All the ends of the earth shall remember, and shall be converted to the Lord. And all the kindreds of the Gentiles shall adore in his sight. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and they shall have dominion over the nations. All the fat ones of the earth they have eaten and have adored. All they that go down to the earth shall fall before him. And to him my soul shall live, and my seed shall serve him. There shall be declared to the Lord a generation to come, and the heaven shall show forth his justice, to a people that shall be born which the Lord had made. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for ever and ever. Amen. Depart not from me, O Lord, for tribulation is very near, for there is none to help me. Ending prayers for Prime. Little chapter, 1 Timothy 117. To the King of Ages, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honour and glory for ever and ever. Amen. Thanks be to God. O Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. O Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Thou who sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Arise, O Christ, and help us, and deliver us for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. 
He descended into hell the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. To thee, O Lord, have I cried, and early shall my prayer come before thee. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, that I may sing of thy glory and of thy greatness all the day long. O Lord, turn thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Trust me not away from thy face, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and strengthen me with a perfect spirit. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man, and rescue me from the unjust man. Deliver me from my enemies, O my God, and defend me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who work iniquity, and save me from the men of blood. So I will sing a psalm to thy name for ever and ever, that I may pay my vows from day to day. Hear us, O God, our salvation, who are at the hope of all the ends of the earth and in the sea afar off. O God, come to my assistance, O Lord, make haste to help me. O Holy God, O Holy Mighty One, O Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and let all that is within me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth thee all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who satisfieth thy desire with good things, that you should be renewed like the eagles, or help us in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. I confess to Almighty God, blessed Mary of our Virgin, blessed Michael the Archangel, blessed John the Baptist, the holy apostles Peter and Paul, to all the saints and to you, brethren, that have sinned exceedingly in thought, word, and deed, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I beseech the blessed Mary of our Virgin, blessed Michael the Archangel, blessed John the Baptist, the holy apostles Peter and Paul, to all the saints and to you, brethren, to pray to the Lord our God for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Vouchsafe, O Lord, this day to keep us without sin. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Let thy mercy, O Lord, descend upon us, as we have hoped in thee, O Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with thee, and with thy spirit, let us pray. O Lord God Almighty, who has brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same by thy power, that we may not fall the stain to any sin, but all our thoughts, words, and works may be directed to the fulfillment of thy will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with thee and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Pause the recording and read the Roman Martyrology here. If you are unable to read the Martyrology, read it later on in the day and recite this prayer. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. May Holy Mary and all the saints intercede for us with the Lord, that we may receive help and salvation from him and live with the reign of forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, O Lord, make haste to help me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O God, come to my assistance, O Lord, make haste to help me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O God, come to my assistance, O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Look down upon thy servants, O Lord, and the works of thy hands, and direct their children. And let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us, and direct thou the work of our hands over us. Yea, the work of our hands do thou direct. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord God, King of heaven and earth, vouchsafe this day to direct and sanctify, to rule and govern our hearts and bodies, our thoughts, words, and deeds, and thy law, and the works of thy commandments, that now and ever we may by thy help attain salvation and freedom. O Saviour of the world, who livest and reignest for ever and ever. Amen. May the Almighty Lord order our days and actions in his peace. Amen. May the Lord direct our hearts and abides in the charity of God and the patience of Christ, but thou, O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Bless ye, God. May the Lord bless us and defend us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Mary's Little Remnant Ending Prayers St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, for your protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke whom we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Precious blood of Jesus, save us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, I love thee, save souls. Our Lady of Conquistador, pray for us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal, pray for us. I will put enmities between thee and the woman, and thy seed and her seed, and he shall crush thy head, and thou shalt lie in wait for his heel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.